Hey, what's up guys? Brian C here. And um, it's been a while since I've done this, which is a product review. And what we have here today, as you guys can see, is a Mastercraft airbrush compressor and airbrush kit. Okay, so just to let you guys know, I actually purchased this through a friend of mine. Special shout out to Joel for the good deal that you gave me. Now, I finally got an airbrush kit for my hobby. Okay, so this is already used and uh, I believe all the piece pieces are here. I'm not too sure. This is actually the first time that I'm going to be fully checking the whole uh, product itself. So let's go ahead, shall we? Okay, so I've gone ahead and took it out of its box because you really do not want to hear that squeaking noise from the styrofoam okay so it says here seven pieces right so i'm gonna gander that uh, one two two piece for the machine the cable and uh, the remaining pieces is for the airbrush kit here <laughs> yeah so um it's actually uh very small here so you guys can see i'm gonna take a gander this is actually 13 by 6 inch which is not bad. It's actually small, compact. Uh, on the specification here, the out, so you need to plug this in on 125 volts, not 240 in other countries out there. <laughs> and um, here it actually shows a 60 inch power, power cord, no, 1.8 meters and uh, seven pounds in weight or 3.3 kilograms or five ounces. It's not that heavy. Yeah, 120 volts for the power here. And the motor speed is 750 RPM with a maximum pressure of 58. Okay, so I read it on the manual here, which comes in two languages. And I believe this is in French. Okay, so this is the... Um, cable or the hose for the um, kit here it's blue not bad rubbery material kind of solid like i said it's already been used so you guys will notice the paint mark there not bad at all so from what uh, my uh, buddy joel told me this is actually um, he only used this a couple times at that now let's put this aside here now this is the kit that came with the compressor here is this got your basic bottle here and it looks like it hasn't been used so it looks like he did not use the airbrush kit here okay Okay, it actually comes in multiple pieces and you got to be careful. You do have some specific items here. Get the wrench and let's take this out here so I can show it to you guys. Okay, I believe this is the cover. Okay. Not bad at all, not bad. Okay, so that's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. You get your basic wrench here. Okay, now let's go ahead and do a little bit of a testing here. Okay, so I already got this plugged in, so let's do a little bit of uh, testing here. Okay, so let's go ahead, shall we? Okay, so that's the actual uh, sound of uh, the compressor here. It's actually uh, kind of noisy and it does vibrate also. I'm just going to use the coin on top here. And it's about to fall off here. Vibration is not that bad. 
but it's noisy. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, install uh, the cable here, see how um, noisy it can get. Now, just to let you guys know, this is my first compressor, so I'm still learning the ropes here. So, doing this testing hands-on while recording it, it's a good experience. Okay, there's actually a lot less uh, noise when it's uh, the cable is attached. Now, one thing that uh, you guys should be aware of, this doesn't have a regulator, a PSI regulator, but I believe you can purchase one for about $15. Now, I don't have all the information yet, but I will definitely do a review once I get that specific piece of item. But for now, I'm quite happy getting this for a really good deal. Okay, on top of... Um, this one here before we go to the next step it actually this uh, one here comes with a handle which is not bad okay let's go ahead and um, test out this here with the airbrush that came with it okay Hmm. Okay, so it actually does stop automatically when you get the, the airbrush attached. But when you use it, it automatically turns back on. Okay, and when you stop, the pressure builds up again. And once... From what it looks like here, it reaches uh, pressure gauge 50, no, actually almost 60, 58, it actually stops. Okay, so let's see if I can actually show it to you guys. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little bit more testing, shall we? So continuous. Okay, so highest pressure. That um, short burst. Then it looks like it's just the basic pressure here. It's not even going down. Okay, let's build it up again. And this time, I'm going to turn this uh, off. And let's see if there's any fr pressure here. Okay. Just give me a second here. Three, two, one. Okay. So uh, when it's turned off, it doesn't last a couple seconds, even when it's attached to it. Okay. That's another test. Something new for me to learn. Okay, let's get on to the next step, shall we? Because I got a few more things I want to show you guys. Okay, so uh, here's the next part of the video here. This one came with uh, Mastercraft. And this one, I actually had this for a long time. I believe I purchased this in Amazon, which is an airbrush. But this time, as you guys can see, rather than having this specific item here attached underneath like this one actually have this gravity fed now there's actually a smaller one I actually do have an Iwata that I actually uh, received from a fellow builder a long time ago but I have no idea where I actually um, stored it for safety since I believe Iwata is a little bit pricey so for this one here, um, if you guys are new to um, airbrush, uh, it's highly advisable if you guys use the grab it, um, this type of brand here, due to the fact that um, it's uh, gravity fed. So when you press the button, you can actually um, 
rather than uh, pressure building up to go up you can actually uh, just use this one a lot easier not bad actually and I think I may have misplaced an item I'm not too sure but the moment of truth is as long as you get the most important parts you won't have any issue from this one here hmm must have done something wrong here okay well be right back okay so it's a new mistake of mine so this one's actually very simple you put the paint here and the mistake that I made was I kept on pulling the lever here which was my mistake press this just and there you have it let let the paint flow through here now the cleaning part is going to be a hassle I have no idea how to clean the airbrush yet so I'm not uh, I'm not gonna start airbrushing till I actually know everything or at least the very very basic okay so this is um, this is the other parts uh, that I actually want to show you guys um, due to the fact that I actually got the good deal for this uh, equipment here now there is one more item that I actually do want to show you guys and this item is actually not complete and this is it this is actually an airbrush also I'm actually missing a couple pieces this actually comes with a rubber a rubber hose that I have no idea where I put also but I'm just showing you guys this is the item that I actually purchased years ago for very cheap I can't even remember the price range anymore and you're gonna be wondering you should have a compressor well you don't actually have to because you can actually purchase one this is a, an airbrush propellant now you can probably purchase this at your local hobby shop that sells um, compressors for a really good deal but highly not definitely not advisable for use if uh, for your kit and you will run out fast okay and one last item this is actually a compressor stand I'm still trying to figure out how this thing works but um, I believe you actually had to just place it something like that I'm not too sure I think yeah hmm is that how it works tell me guys leave it in the comment section below okay that's all I got for today um, I managed to pull out a couple of old items of mine that I thought I was not gonna use again just gonna rot in storage and um, I ended up getting lucky for this kit the price for this one here well in Canadian Tire I think they are currently it's September 6 around $200 and uh, this can go on sale for about a hundred dollars or less so highly advisable if you guys are just a second here if you guys are looking for a good starter set to practice on this is highly advisable you can purchase other other uh, compressors also for cheaper uh, there's other builders out there that actually can give you guys a lot of advice and if you guys know if some other guys who are watching this video knows what I'm talking about leave it in the comment section below help out our fellow um, kit uh, builders okay this is Brian C signing off for this video have a good day good night afternoon see you guys later